Ah, yes, the much anticipated first YouTube video of Goldinger Farms. Today I was just thinking I'd do a quick and short equipment tour of my personal equipment. This is not stuff that my family actually uses to farm. This is These are just things that I've acquired over the years that I get enjoyment out of using occasionally. So let's get right to it. Behind me is a lovely 1954 model, John Deere Model 70. It's got 45 horsepower. It's what I use to plant with because the wheels are set on narrow rows. The narrow rows are 30 inches apart. And I really like the way it drives, but right now it has a short in the electrical system because the voltage regulator isn't on it. I'm working on it. I'm not, yeah. And here in the nice shed, I have a 1951 John Deere Model G. It makes about 40 horsepower. And this is the tractor that came before the 70 that's in the other shed chronologically in Deere, John Deere's lineup. And I really like this tractor, but it doesn't have live hydraulics. And that means that in order to use the hydraulic lever, this one, to make your planter or whatever go up and down, the PTO has to be engaged, which means the tractor has to be in gear. And that's not very handy for planting or picking something up while the tractor is moving. And this is my baby. It's a 1965 Oliver 540 corn planter with a no-till bar. They're, these are almost impossible to find and I'm really glad that I found it when I did. And all the row units are off of it right now, sitting over there, because it's middle of summer, don't need to use a planter right now. And next spring, fingers crossed, there's gonna be a video up of me using this planter behind that tractor to plant beans with. I'm really gonna try my best to get this one down and done. And I have an acre counter for this. You know how cool that is? It counts how many acres you plant. Look at that. It's just perfect. Everything about it. Needs a new coat of paint and some grease, but other than that, she is ready to roll behind that, which also needs some grease. And this behind me is a John Deere number five sickle mower. Not sure of the year on it, but I do know that my great grandpa Dittmer gave it to me and I told him that I would get it to run again. And I have used it. It cuts very well considering what it is. And it's like seven feet wide. It's really not that great. This is my eight foot disc. It's a John Deere, I think the model is a JWA. W on older John Deere discs means it's wheeled. I'm not sure on the year on it. I do know it needs all new blades all around, but I'm too cheap to do that because it's like $10 a blade and there's 28 of them. And I'm not gonna drop $300 on a worthless disc. And this lovely piece of equipment is a John Deere number 55 three bottom plow. It is a work in progress. So that's the reason why it looks kind of ugly and it has no wheels. And I also almost forgot about these. I have two four foot harrow sections and I would pull these behind my disc in there to help break up the dirt if it's a little cloddy. So thanks for watching this. And if you liked it, let me know down in the comments because I'm not really sure if I want to spend the time or effort making videos like this. If no one's going to watch it or appreciate it. But let me know. And if you do, I'll make more of them because it's something that I enjoy doing and I like showing people how this kind of stuff works. And if I can, I will.